Hi, my name is Tamara. Um, I'm 22 years old and I am a artist living in Scarborough, Ontario. I'm 17 years old. I am also adopted and I'm just looking forward to um, meeting my biological mom soon. My name is Ronaldo White. I'm a poet, a mathematician, and a naturopath all in one. I think that's only possible when you believe in yourself. My name is Tamara. I'm 23. I grew up in Scarborough. I'm a creative here teaching pottery in the city. And yeah. The typical parental dynamic should look like two parents in the house. But I don't think that's enough. I think that you need a larger family when you're raising a child. You know, the phrase, it takes a village. It doesn't necessarily have to be a mother and father, but, you know, have two people there um, to offer different perspectives. Being able to just, I guess, have access to both parents too, I think would be ideal. And trust and, like, emotional intelligence. I think that that is something that I think is the most important part when raising a child. It's different because it was just me, my mom, and my sister, no father figure. I just think that uh, my mom was working, or maybe she could have been home more. But again, because of the economy that we live in, you know, that's how it is, right? It takes two to make it happen instead of one. So, fuck me, I only had one, <laughs> one parent. <laughs> it was just my mom. I just grew up with my mother and I went to live with my father when I was 12 so I didn't really have a stable upbringing. It would have been better if it was just my mother and my father so a lot of things would have would have been better up here I think. Um, I feel like I realized this discrepancy when I was maybe four. Around five years old when I did get adopted. Um. I feel like I kind of just noticed right away. I feel like it wasn't that hard to realize that I didn't have a father figure, but I feel like... I think I realized when I was a little older and I started to uh, do a little bit of introspection. So maybe at age like 21 or so, when I really started thinking about it, reading some books and so hearing some things just made me realize just how... Uh, off track we might have been. And uh, yeah, what's the question again? <laughs> hey. Am I allowed to swear? Fuck yeah. Dude, if I had another parental figure in my life, I feel like I would have, I wouldn't say I had, I would have things sorted out, but I feel like I would have like, I would be able to have like a sense of um, other opinion, other thoughts around me. And I feel like, Maybe me and my mom's relationship wouldn't be as argumentative or problematic as it is. I don't think it's necessary, but I think it helps. I think it makes you a more well-rounded person. If you only have sort of one half of you, that meaning one parent, or you don't have a lot of differing opinions and differing perspectives, then you kind of become not as well-rounded as you could be. 100% left brain, right brain, left side of the body, right side of the body, you know, eyes come in a pair. And the, even the universe will show you that. That is 100% necessary. It takes two parents, you know, if one dies, that's some tricky stuff there, man, because I believe it takes two of them. Um, and just like making the kid kind of like understand how different um, social activities work with other people um, and so that they kind of get that experience. Um, in a sense of my mentality, what I have realized is maybe how I view going about maybe connecting or creating relationships with people. Financially, being a single parent and having two kids is like you can't do as much as you think you would want to. I feel like if I had a father figure maybe he could come watch or something. So like, yeah, like support system financially and argumentatively. Is that a word? Argumentative, I'd say. Argumentative. People who grow up in single parent households, you know, they, they are different from other people. Uh, there's, I don't want to say there's always something off about them, but, you know. A big common issue is uh, sort of sexual deviance. <laughs> 
I'd say both men and women have that kind of problem. A lot of attachment issues, sublimation of the loss of love. A lot of the times people don't have their father around, that's the most common one. Um, those people are better off, I think, than people without mothers. I think that, that motherly love is very important. But those I think feeling left out, you know, because I don't know, people who have two parents, they kind of behave a little different. Most times, not all the time. I don't believe in all the time for anything, but most times I can see. Yes. <laughs> I would definitely say my upbringing has caused me to definitely grow up extremely fast. Yeah, I think I'm a little messed up, yeah. I would say that when I was younger, I had a lot of trouble uh, sort of orienting myself around masculine people. I still have a little bit of that issue, but it's it's gone away. But um, when you don't have sort of that fatherly dynamic, you don't know how to behave around those kinds of people. I definitely do have, you know, uh, mental health issues. I definitely do experience behavioral issues. I'm pretty sure that, you know, some of my... Um, some of the certain emotional milestones you're supposed to go through as a child, they might have been stunted or they might have been um, expedited at times where they shouldn't have because I was forced to grow up and kind of take care of myself. I would say that it taught me to be more empathetic. Uh, you know, I'm a little more calm and I try to be overstanding with my uh, children. You know, instead of being so rough on them, I remember the roughness that I endured. And... I feel like knowing that mental health runs in my blood, I will definitely look out for certain things in my child sooner. Well, I'm definitely not going to do what my parents did. Um... You can't have your kid in a broken home. I know that. You have to give them love. You cannot leave them to their own devices and expect them to be okay. Um, my biggest insight would be to give grace. Keep yourself busy, honestly. I mean, I know it kind of sucks, but keep yourself busy and find a good friend that might have a dad figure. Fuck. You're in a rough spot, little dude. You're gonna have to work through it. No one's gonna make you you. You're gonna have to make yourself. It's a tough pill to swallow, but... Keep it in your pants until you understand the dance. That I chose to be a part of this project because I think that my experience is similar but a little bit different in, the, in terms of being adopted. And I think that that experience doesn't get talked about a lot. To kind of shedding light on the different ranges in which growing up with a single parent can affect an individual. I think that it is worth the. Uh people researching and understanding the impact and the roles of parenting and so on. Because it's like a, it's like a man approaching a pond. You'd want to know how deep the pond is before you step in or else you could drown. Like I hope what I say can kind of help someone younger than me. And for like the single mothers specifically, I hope that hearing from your kid's point of view can kind of help some of those mothers to kind of understand like, okay, if this is one kid talking about it, then maybe I need to check in with my kid. I think that, um, well, it's sort of a underdiscussed topic, I think, especially in this format where you just kind of just say what you feel. I feel like a lot of the times when you talk about single parentage, it's sort of clinical, a bit impersonal, a lot of statistics, a lot of analysis of the statistics, but not a lot of the human element. I would recommend that uh, yeah, just people know what you're doing, you know? You, you know what you're doing before you do what you do. This is Missing Links.